Hi everyone and welcome to Concrete and Cranes VBS. My name is Yvonne and I have a special guest with me today. It looks like he's fallen asleep. Let's see if we can wake him up. Wake up Luke, come on over. Now you have a very important job. What's your job, Luke? Construction worker. He's a construction worker, awesome. And what do construction workers do? Build stuff. They build stuff, perfect. And we're gonna do some building in our Bible stories this week. And whenever you build something, you have to have a firm foundation or everything's just gonna fall right over, right? So in our Bible story today, we're gonna to find out what our firm foundation is. So our story is about a man named Matthew. And Matthew was a tax collector. Now, people didn't like tax collectors very much because they would take people's money and they would take a little bit too much of it and they would keep some of it for themselves. So they weren't very popular. But one day, Jesus walked by and he saw Matthew sitting there and he said, Matthew, come follow me. And what do you think Matthew did? He dropped everything. He got up immediately and he followed Jesus. Yes. And Matthew was so excited that Jesus would notice him that he decided he was going to have a great big party at his house. And he invited Jesus and all the disciples over. So Jesus, here's a picture of Jesus. And he was hanging out with Matthew and all of Matthew's friends. Now, when the Pharisees found out that Jesus was hanging out with tax collectors, they were not very happy. They started to complain to the other disciples. They were like, oh, did you know that Jesus is hanging out with that kind of people? What is he thinking? Doesn't he know that they're bad and that they're tax collectors and they're sinners? Now, Jesus heard them, those Pharisees say that kind of stuff, and this is what he had to say to them. He said, it is not those who are well who need a doctor, but those who are sick. For I didn't come to call the righteous, but the sinners. So Jesus wasn't interested in how good a person was or how bad they were. He loves everyone, and he loves them no matter what, just like he chooses to love you and I no matter what we've done, no matter what bad things we've done. And he wants us to follow him just like Matthew did. Matthew dropped everything, and he followed Jesus. So I'm going to go back to our first question in the beginning of the story. What is our foundation? Can you think of what our foundation might be from the story? Kendra? Love. Love. Very good. Can I have my construction worker come put up our foundation on our tower here? Good job. So our foundation is love. And he loves us no matter what. And there is nothing that we can do to earn God's love. Now, I'm going to see what you remember about our story. I brought a little lunchbox because construction workers have to work long hours and they have to take a lunch with them. And I have things in here that have to do with the story. And let's see if you can help me figure out what they have to do with the story today. First one, what do I have here? Money. Money. And what does money have to do with the story? Tax collectors. Who was the tax collector? You remember his name? Matthew. Matthew. Matthew was the tax collector. Very good. All right, this next one's a tricky one, but I think you can get it. What does this have to do with the story? Matthew followed Jesus. Very good. It's footprints. Matthew dropped everything and he followed Jesus, and God wants us to follow him too. And the last thing is, what do I have in here? An apple. An apple. Now, what does an apple have to do with the story? Do you remember? Um, Jesus had a meal with Matthew. Good. Matthew invited everyone back to his house for a big party, and they had yummy food. Very good. You guys did a great job. You were a great audience. And to all my friends listening, we'll see you back here tomorrow for another story. Bye. Bye.